unfortunately, when I created the uh, this video link, uh, um, I think uh, I need to set the thing so that uh, you all can enter without asking for permission. I think she will find the next time round because uh, even though I changed the settings now, I cannot. Uh, Get it uh, to, to change. Yeah? So I think I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> so I'll wait for a while before all of you come in and then I'll start the class. <clears throat> can I assume that you all can hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Good. Uh, this is very. Uh, annoying here because uh, now the uh, you all have to ask permission to come in so i'll wait for a while before i hit the uh, uh, what we call this uh, maybe uh, seven eighty of you let's discuss for 90 of you huh? uh, meanwhile uh, can you all see the screen huh? please sign in uh to that uh to that link there to get your attendance huh? because i'm going to check attendance i will do that all the time huh? so please uh I think uh, after this, I will, I will close the uh, link uh, because I need to uh, uh, play something else. Eh? So, Now I'll post the link on the chat uh, box. So I need to move on to other things. Eh? After this, I'll stop here. Okay, so this one is the on the chat box. For those of you who have not signed up yet, Attendance, I need to uh, get the attendance there. So please sign in. Uh, I think I'll start very soon. I'll wait for a while. So after this, I will stop this uh, this uh, slide here and move on. Uh. Oh, by the way, before I forget, uh, uh, next week, Wednesday, the class will start at, uh, instead of starting at 10, I'll start at 9 o'clock. Let me start up first. I forgot to put this in here. Oh, I cannot do that. Then I'll do it here. Mm, okay. Okay, so I'll, I'll again post this on the Google Classroom. Okay, uh, welcome again. Then let's get started. Let me see if I can in this here.
Now, uh, let's do some uh, housekeeping first. Huh? I can be class rep. Maybe uh, just uh, type in your sort of uh, name onto the chat box. At least I know who the class rep. Uh, ah, GA. Uh, I think I, I have your contacts. Uh. I think for Iron Major. Uh, um, okay, let me try to understand. Uh. You are, okay, Jun Hao, you are group two, and you're the class rep for the whole Iron Major four, right? Not just group two alone. Uh. Am I correct? No, no, no. I want the because otherwise I could, okay, never mind. Uh, this, it, you have a class rep for the whole uh, RMH. <coughs> for your, you all go by group, uh, class rep for different groups. Uh, okay. Christopher, uh, this is all RMH. Uh, so Christopher, am I correct? You are saying that uh, Zia Wei is the class rep for RMS four. Ah, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, this is what I want. Because otherwise, I I, I think you have two groups. Uh, so two plus three. Yeah. Uh, so then it's a bit messy. Uh, so easy to just talk to the uh, the class rep for the uh, <coughs> then the class rep will actually um, talk to the rest. Uh, and uh, GA, interesting. Uh, that's, I have your contacts. Uh, I think since your diploma days, but now you're finally in uh, year four. Welcome. Yeah, yeah. yeah thank <laughs> you, sir. Good morning, sir. I recognize your name. Any questions so far? Um, what I'm setting up? Uh? <clears throat> this is a pretty good big group of uh, uh, AP students. Um, I think I missed the old days uh, when I can see the whole class. Uh, now I see only icons. There's a J, there's a Z. Ah, Yao Ting, you're here. Good. Uh, maybe I'll talk to you later because I need, we need to have a, what I call a project weekly, not weekly, fortnightly meetings. Uh, uh, because uh, we, uh, our, our thing has started, this semester has started. <coughs> okay. <coughs> we have a drink first. Uh, I've been talking just now for the past two hours. Oh, by the way, uh, next week, uh, Wednesday, we start early because I'm, I won't be here on the 7th of July. I'm having my second shot, COVID-19 shot on the 7th of July. So I, I, I won't be here. So, um, <coughs> so uh, I, have, I need to have it replaced. Uh, so I'm having a starting early. So that's the only time slot because uh, now we have five groups. So it's a bit tricky to uh, make sure that everyone is, uh, you know, everyone is free to attend the, 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 the lecture. So, okay, uh, let me get started. Uh, let me see. Now I want to, I'm playing a song here. Please pay attention. <clears throat> okay. So let me just uh, play a song. Ah, here you go. <laughs> I want you to pay attention to this song. Eh? Loud, is eh? Volume okay, volume okay. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. Everyone can hear the song, the music. Yes. Yes, sir. Good. Okay. Um. Uh, good. I think I, I, I think the challenge will be getting get some of you, get all of you to actually very challenging uh, to get all of you to 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 participate in the class. Huh? So let's get started. Okay. So we have uh play the music here. So let me see. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Just let, let, uh, ah, okay. Anyway, it's on the uh, chat box. Thank you, sir. Uh, just remind me again that later on uh, to uh, actually uh, also to actually come in late. Huh? Maybe uh, I can uh, show the uh, this link again. Okay. So yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Uh, this is one. Huh? So please, uh, another link, uh, please participate in this survey. I'll give you another couple of minutes to look at this. Uh, meanwhile, can I have a chit chat and ask questions? Although it's a very challenging, I, I don't think any of you will, what you call it? Uh,
Make sure it's correct, huh? Okay, this is correct. Anyone uh, have difficulty uh, doing this survey? So the link is there, and then uh, for the ones who are using handphone, can you see, um, just scan the QR code, it's the same link. I think there's a few so questions there. Yes. Scan ID, it says got problem, cannot uh, need permission or? Hi, uh, yeah. Wait, 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 let me try to open up again. Uh, technology. <coughs> let me see. Uh. Ah, yes, correct. You have to use the UC mail. Uh. Uh, can or not? Okay. You want uh, it to. Let me try a while. Uh. Oh, oh, sir, can you copy and paste the link inside the chat? Wait, wait, wait. Let me make sure that at least you all can block, uh, uh, participate in the. The thing first, otherwise, uh, even a copy, then and all of you have problems for signing in. I'm checking for this is a Google form, okay? Let me see. Um, uh, I'm scared of because I'm on the other, I'm on the other machine. And this machine doesn't have a. <laughs> doesn't have a what do you call it? Something like that. Okay, let's see. I need to uh, hmm. <coughs> how should I do this? How to do this? I need to call. Okay, can you all go sign it? Cannot. Can you all do a survey? Can? No? Can? Uh? Ah, good. I think because you have to sign it to your. At least I'll save me a trouble. Anyway, here is it again. In case you cannot see it. Okay. And then meanwhile, I have to look for this Google form. It's a simple questions. Yes, I think uh, there are way. Uh, maybe you you missed the, the little thing I played just now. Uh, poll. <coughs> I only got about thirty eight of you uh, responded. Uh. Please help me to uh, what do you call it? Help me to complete this survey. Hundred uh, percent from that uh, thirty plus of you say that you have not heard this song before. Our fifty three responses. Thank you. Uh, what else? Uh, what else can I say? Uh, uh, <laughs> one third of you don't like the song. Fair enough. Wonder why? Want to share? Uh, some of you feel it's new age. Okay, not bad. Nearly half the class feel it's new age. Uh, some of you first rap. No, I'm not really rap. Dance is okay. I think dance, if I combine dance with a uh, new age, uh, it comes to about 70%. Not too bad. Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wrote rap because I, I, I missed it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't worry. Don't worry. I think, uh, yeah. much, I, I, I don't worry. Uh, my, my classes, you can always talk. I uh, encourage you to talk. Uh, plus, the fact you guys are year four. Uh, nah, nah, I don't think it's rock. No. <laughs> Let's have fun, huh? uh, You know the composer? Or some of you know, huh? Who is it? 7.1%. Uh, not bad. Ah, okay. The one person. Wonderful. Uh, I'll keep five first, huh? Who is it? Anyone? Uh, <laughs> good. And this is been following. Very good, very good. Uh, I think uh, normally uh, 
when I play this, uh, normally the few guys actually will know a small minor minority. <laughs> okay. Anyone still want to participate in the uh, survey? If not, I'll stop the survey and get on with the class. Ah, there's uh, another guy. Okay, okay. Uh, What's the question? Is, uh, I, I can't remember the question. Let me check the question first. Uh. Okay, now man, it's a uh, free flow. Not bad. <laughs> okay, can I carry on? Oh, you still want to participate in, in, in the poll? I've got about 70, 70 plus. Um, those of you are maybe coming late and maybe you missed the, the, missed the, missed the song. Okay. Okay, uh, so I'll carry on. I'll continue from here. So it's just a fun quiz, fun, fun thing. So it's okay. So I'll come back to the uh, maybe remind me uh, towards the end, and maybe remind you of the results from this poll. It's uh, because I maybe some of you still want to participate in this fun, fun quiz, fun poll. So welcome. Uh, I always, always uh, for me, uh, for lecture is exciting to actually. Uh, conduct the, the lecture all over again, uh, start of a semester, and meet uh, for me meeting new students. Students means uh, some of you, uh, some of you meeting new challenges. Uh, some of you make sure you learn. Um, it's not that easy. Uh, I don't think it's easy to get you guys to learn, uh, especially in this uh, COVID nineteen where it's a virtual. I think uh, previously some students actually, uh, so I saw some of them lying on bed, uh, <laughs> watching a movie. So. Basically, my class is to make sure you learn something before you leave this uh, university. So that this one is important. I told you some of those uh, who attended the first tutorial why it's important. I'll come back to that later on. Um, let me see. Uh. Okay, where am I? Ah, new age, but new age learning is a uh, suicide skill. Why? Because uh, uh, you, you can't, I can't see you. Uh, now, this year, I'm starting something new. At least you can see me. At least maybe, hopefully, it will keep you focused on. on on the lecture. Now, let's look at the learning outcome. We, first of all, we look at what is intelligence. Uh, the second thing, we also want to look at the, why, why is, what is the motivation? Um, I think I touched on this before in the tutorial. I think uh, maybe tomorrow I'll, I'll look at one of the groups. Uh, this is, uh, oh, group one, how you, right? Then, uh, why do we want to study um, AI? A little bit about history, a brief history of AI, how it started, what are the, who are the key people involved in the um, development of artificial intelligence. Then come to an important question. Can intelligence be measured? Right, Because in order to uh, develop or to create artificial intelligence, uh, notice that uh, it's not artificial intelligence uh, the key. It's artificial intelligence, right? So it's a noun, uh, so it's artificial. So uh, artificial intelligence, right? So how do you, you need to know what is intelligence? So uh, because if you do artificial intelligence, so is it at the end of the day, the AI is it intelligent, <clears throat> right? So, uh, so you have to know, right? You have to first of all measure this. Now, don't worry for those of you who are coming. Uh, this is this is your first lecture, uh, first time interacting with me. I will cover this uh, later on in, <clears throat> in your tutorial. Because the tutorial we cannot start yet uh, uh, until we have covered some of the topics uh, for the uh, first lecture. Lectures uh, and then the same goes for your lab. Uh, what else? Uh, so back to here. So uh, can intelligence be measured? Because if you cannot measure, then how you know you have actually um, developed or designed or created something called artificial intelligence? So your AI at the end is it really intelligent or is it not intelligent at all? Right. So uh, so that's why it's important for us to know can intelligence be measured. Right, simple question, 
but they look, uh, it, it, later on you find that it's not that easy to answer, right? And then some applications of AI, and I think this one actually, uh, uh, it's actually quite fluid, right? Quite fluid in the sense that uh, we see new applications being uh, reported in the news. As a result, that's creating also a lot of uh, interest and hype about what AI is and what AI can do. And then we don't look at, uh, we have a little uh, peek into the future of AI, right? So these are the things you hope to learn from this lecture, which will probably, uh, maybe if we can, we call probably tomorrow on, on Friday. If not, we have to uh, push it to next week, right? So uh, since this is a big class, uh, I can only hope that if, uh, you know, uh, if you cannot uh, follow, please stop me. Uh, I'm more than happy to explain further. And I think for those students who actually attended my first uh, tutorial, you know why I, I need to do that. And for those who have not uh, attended my first tutorial yet, uh, come to we'll, the we'll debate huh? and for maybe the next few days and maybe next week. So uh, some hard questions we have to look at. What does it mean? to call a system in tangent, right? So is my transistor, my diode in tangent? Is my uh, pen intelligent, right? So what does it mean to call the system in tangent? Can a machine really be intelligent? Really, can it be intelligent? Maybe it can, but what level is the intelligence? So we can see the uh, different, Parts of the question. Uh, it's not that easy to answer. Can I? Now, intelligent is not the same as conscious. Now, what do you mean by conscious? Uh, for those of you actually uh, have been looking at the uh, philosophy, you know that conscious means I know that I am who I am. So that's mean by consciousness. So in a way, you can also argue that this is also part of intelligence. Okay. Now, another fun quiz. I want you to uh, give me a uh, sort of rating for this piece of cake, right? Uh, I'm looking at it, uh, so you can you can guess. Uh, I'm a great fan of uh, rich, moist chocolate cake. So it's a simple thing. So it is a good, to, uh, it's a good piece of cake. So it's so good that I can have another piece. Huh? Nah, it's just average. Huh? Uh, piece of cake uh, doesn't interest me. Uh, it's such a good pattern, so I I rate as average. Uh, bah, waste my time. So this cake doesn't impress me at all. So I want you to look at the uh, uh, snap this QR uh, code or then key the uh, what about the, the, the link and then insert this fun quiz. Uh, again, I'll give you a couple of short ones and uh, see uh, complete this uh, quiz, quick uh, fun quiz. Uh, we now check the results. Uh, okay. Let me check and see, go back to the quiz. Okay. Yeah. Ah, okay, I got it here. Okay, thank you. Very fast. I got 36 is still increasing. Uh, uh, someone say waste my time, okay, that's fine. And half the class say it's uh, just average. <laughs> I only eat this cake because it's free, that's why I find it uh, not that impressive at all. I think uh, some of you get impressed with the uh, piece of cake. So I'll wait for a while, maybe hit, hit, wait until you hit, uh, maybe hopefully 70. <laughs> Uh, there's a reason why I want to get you to participate in this quiz. Huh? So you have to trust me on that. That's what I meant by uh, trust me on this. And then uh, you have to do things a bit different. Remember, those students that attended my first tutorial, right? I talked about this before. That's uh, no, why you're here. And um, since you're here to learn, you must go to. Um, 
Don't think it's a bit different there. Right? And we check whether have we hit the numbers. Once we hit the numbers, I'll stop. I hit 77. I think it's a, uh, okay. I've got about uh, half the class, don't, don't think it's that great, right? Yeah, because it's free, so we only need eight pieces of cake, otherwise uh, uh, it's average, and uh, some of you feel it's a waste of the time. This is okay, it doesn't, they're not into cakes, so it's fine, right? It's fine. Uh, let me see that, come back from here. Okay, now, why we do this? Because basically, we need to know why you do this. Because it is, uh, where's my, where it is, right? So, it's very important to look at measurement, right? So, you need to be able to measure. So, why do we need to measure intelligence? So, same thing goes for intelligence. Instead of a kid now, we have this something called, on the plate, something called intelligence. How to know, how well, so we need to know. As I said before, intelligence, right? How good is my machine in imitating intelligence? Is it uh, good? Is it uh, just average? Uh, waste of the time. Your system, your AI system, actually is not intelligent at all. Right? So that's where they come from, right? in that sense. Right? So let's see that. Okay, so let me go back here. Okay, so very important if you cannot measure, you will not know what or where to improve. Right? So if our objective is to design and create intelligent systems. So we must know, able to measure what is intelligent, right? how, how intelligent is our system. Let me see, um, open up, uh, okay. Uh, so, okay. Now, so let's dive into it. So let's start with uh, some of the textbook definition of intelligent. So what is intelligent? It's a noun. It means our capacity for learning, reasoning, understanding, and similar forms of mental activity. Uh, and so it looks at the attitude in grasping truth. So if the person or things is intelligent, they are able to uh, grasp the truth, the relationships, the facts, the meanings, etc. Then uh, it's actually uh, uh, another definition uh, of intelligence is it's a manifestation of a higher mental capacity. For example, he writes the intelligence and wit, right? And intelligence as well, and it also means that able to understand. It's the faculty of understanding that is from this um, dictionary form. Now then, let's go into what is then artificial intelligence. So I've given here, shown here, four different interpretation of what is artificial intelligence. Other than the fact that no one seems to be able to come up with a single definition, also tells you that artificial intelligence has many different facets. For example, artificial intelligence means that your system uh, think like humans. The first one by Bellman in 1978, right? So Actually, it's automation activities that are associated with human thinking. So we're trying to automate those things that uh, humans are good at. Decision making, problem solving, learning, etc. Then, uh, uh, this one, I think a uh, couple of years later, uh, Chanyak and McDonald, McDonald uh, defines artificial intelligence as systems that think rationally. So it involves the study of mental faculties to the use of computational models. Right? So uh, we're trying to develop or look at systems that can think rationally or logically. Right? So if you see this, you do this. So this is actually the uh, uh, one that a uh, second definition. By the way, uh, uh, this is not something that uh, you have to remember. Huh? So this is actually I'm just giving you the uh, uh, sort of a uh, slice of how yeah. what um, the community has defined artificial intelligence. Right? So in 1998 or 1990, I think as well, for those of you who are uh, 
who, who likes um, technology, uh, uh, you know, you recognize this name because uh, this uh, what I call a visionary person who actually looks at the future, actually really because I've been reading a few books on technology and the future. So he defines uh, AI as systems that act like humans. So you can see here, this one, Bellman talks about thinking like humans, that act like humans. So uh, I think uh, we have said before, ultimately, the uh, most intelligent being on this planet is like humans. But then to be fair, that is coming from humans. So of course, we will say that we are the smartest animal on this planet, right? <laughs> You cannot say that uh, the uh, tiger is the smartest uh, animal or the dolphin or the whale, right? So because we believe that we are the smartest and I think we are not that wrong. Why? Right? People around us today. We do a lot of things on, on the planet. Some good, some not so good, but it shows that we are pretty smart, right? So Ray Kurzweil believes that uh, he find AI as system that AI humans. So basically it involves creating machines that perform functions that require intelligence when performed by people. Very important here, right? So we always want to copy. AI is copying the, the master, the seafood, right, of uh, intelligence. So we're always basing on that. So the closer we come to, uh, for the machine to be act like human, we say that we have to make some success. Because now the machine is actually uh, almost as intelligent as people, humans in general, right? Of course, you can also argue the way that who are you following in terms of uh, intelligence? Are you following person A, person B, person C? So we say in general. When a person sees this problem, how will he or she solve this problem? Right? So we are trying to build a machine that will do such things. So this is from Ray Kurzweil in 1990. Eight years later, Nielsen, another uh, person involved in a, a well-known person in the AI, in the, uh, okay, AI community, defines AI as systems that act rationally. Right? If you see it, see certain things, you will not do things which are irrational. Right? So this was concerned with intelligent behavior in objects and artifacts. So if I give you here. Four different, uh, almost similar, but right, uh, still slightly different uh, uh, definition of artificial intelligence. You can also see that uh, from the early days, how the definition has actually slowly evolved, right? From thinking like humans, think rationally to acting like humans, and then finally acting rationally. Of course, you can also uh, check on the internet what other definitions they may be. So what is artificial intelligence? Uh, I think this one I won't should play it here. Actually, I played it in the uh, tutorial class, so I think uh, for lack of time, I won't, I won't repeat it here. Or maybe later on uh, in the other tutorial, I'll play it again. Huh? So it's again the uh, well, animation uh, of what is artificial intelligence. What, what's the definition of various sources? So the fiction becomes relative, right? So uh, we find that uh, you know uh, humans actually through our imagination right? this is your fiction. So for those of you who are actually uh, uh, science uh, Star Trek fans, you find you know that this is uh, this is a medical coder uh, that can actually diagnose a person, perform a person. This is actually uh, what you call it. Uh, it's a, it's a something you dream of. You, you woke up for that uh, Hollywood uh, TV series. Uh, Maybe not a look series actually it's also yet yeah. um uh, we got the, uh, the the film uh, two 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 feature film on that as a result of that we also inspired we inspired especially in this uh, picture here this uh, Birmingham Aston University right the researchers want to do something like that so imagine that uh, for you don't need to see a doctor now you just uh, carry this thing and this one will actually uh, help the dog or help the person to tell what's wrong with the person. Right? This is a working desktop prototype of a machine that can take readings of blood 
human tissue using just laser beams. And I think for those of you who have been following the news, uh, so I uh, guess a couple of days ago I saw in the newspaper, our, our nation newspaper, they have this uh, oxygen level instrument that can help uh, monitor the oxygen level uh, in your bloodstream. This will help the, um, those person who may be infected or affected by the COVID-19 virus. Uh, this is actually taken from this particular um, source uh, from the IUT. And it is an uh, institutional engineering technology. It's a worldwide international organization of engineers and technologies. Uh, why interest in AI? Why are we interested in AI? I think uh, because it will help in labor. I think this is a whole um, picture of a robot, um, for that, a human um, like robot, and also, of course, in different appliances. Right? We have this, uh, this is also part of AI. Uh, uh, there's some intelligence there in your vacuum cleaner, vacuum robot, but uh, even the camera, and also the washing machine. Uh, of course, also in the other things, uh, Google, Yahoo. And this is uh, space, space exploration, sending, uh, sending things or creating systems to go into areas that humans cannot go into. For example, it takes too long and also uh, it's a bit dangerous. Uh, currently, I think it's not possible to send people to Mars yet because of the, the distance travel and also the uh, among of things you need to carry uh, food, uh, how you create so much food. Uh, by the time you want to create, you want to carry so much food, maybe you cannot. Uh, the machine, the rocket, is not able to do that. Yet. So, these are things. Uh, so, there's also other things like dangerous areas uh, uh, nuclear plant, nuclear systems, nuclear factories, or nuclear energy plants. Uh, it's too dangerous to go inside. Uh, so, instead of sending humans there, you send these uh, machines. Intelligent machines to, to do what humans cannot do. So far, so good. And follow. So, that was a uh, early part. But AI is now, I think, you look at the news and plus other, other uh, areas on uh, internet as well. You'll find that AI is now becoming reality, no longer just research in the university. It's now in use in everyday life. Not all, all, all areas, but many areas. Let's look at some of these. Okay, so uh, so this one is name these apps, right? So this one is uh, the one here. And this one actually uh, watch anywhere and say at any time. This of course you know what this is. Uh, this is a thing for those of you who drive. Uh, if you want to go to a new destination, you're not sure how to do that. And of course, in uh, many of these cars, uh, couple, only a couple of years ago, <coughs> if, if your parents or yourself buy a car, you will not have these uh, systems that can tell you that uh, you are too close to the machine in front of you, to the car in front of you, to the vehicle in front of you, or there's a vehicle on the right hand side. Huh? And that's been actually um, <coughs> implemented, <coughs> implemented in uh, the Mazda CX5. Among others, <coughs> there's also other cars, I think. Uh, <coughs> I think in our, our proton, <coughs> the, the four, four wheeler, <coughs> we also have that. <coughs> Excuse me. Not too much. Huh? So, this is Facebook. <coughs> they will tell you what to type, especially an example. If you put in some photographs there uh, and tell you this is a friend and tag or uh, something like that. Netflix <coughs> to, uh, for movies, uh, ways of course, the program X7P uh, uh, for the uh, Collision, uh, uh, forward collision uh, warning system. <coughs> so, AI is not new. Actually, uh, for those of you working on AI, you find that actually uh, AI has been around for many years, but it's uh, not so obvious. Right? I think uh, that's why we'll, we'll discuss some of these things that uh, why, why we say AI is not new. But now there's a bit of uh, interest now. But why now? Why is the AI so hot nowadays? Huh? Why is that? Because we have lots of data. Data is generated and the data amount of data is huge, humongous. So that you cannot humanly possible to analyze all those data. Right? So we need uh, algorithms, machines to actually help you to analyze. 
So this is actually due to new currency design. For example, anyone? Maybe one one example of a smarter algorithm that is actually can use work very well with huge amounts of data. Something called for oh, you guys are uh, okay. I hope all of you guys have say I think I'm doing maybe it's not true. I think I can see some of you are still uh, going around looking for F5 sequences. So one of them is actually called deep learning. Because a couple of years ago, someone came up with the, with the deep learning and uh, actually was able to beat the world champion in the game called Go, G O. So there is new algorithms being developed. At the same time, those algorithms are being shared to open source. It's not protected anymore. So we don't need to design from scratch. So during my days uh, at the university, I have to design the algorithm from scratch. Looking at the, such a paper, the, the, the uh, mathematical formula from there, design the algorithm. Now we don't have to just uh, use those algorithms because they are open source. You can actually download the source code and then run it on the machine. The third one is computing power. Right? Other than the fact that this, uh, uh, machines are better, faster, more powerful, they also more uh, cost effective, means they're cheaper. You don't need to pay so much to get a high end machine. Right? Uh, I think for 3,000, 4,000 million, you can get a pretty fast machine. Right? And also, if you get the GPUs, right? uh, graphical processing unit, you can also uh, do some of this processing. So, for those of you who are doing some work on deep learning, using deep learning, you should know deep learning punches uh, processes a lot of information, a lot of data, and normally it's quite slow. Right, and run a few days just to do one uh, complete one computation. So when the, when, when, um, when, the, when the situation is better in the country, you are invited, you are welcome to come back to run the run the software on our faster machines in the Q block. We have a few machines there. It's good for suitable for deep learning processing. Huh? And so this one is uh, you can come back to do that. So all these combined together has a uh, help to uh, help to speed up the uh, uh we call it the, the use of artificial intelligence because uh, for example this is uh, alphabet uh, alphabet is a company by google so ai can solve some of the uh, plants some of these tough problems that uh, previously because uh, due to this uh, lot of data we cannot uh, do that right also, as a result, also AI is able to help people in many ways, huh? in, in ways. And of course, uh, uh, some large scale computing plus data. Uh, this is large scale computing. Of course, you, you can't compete without uh, a suitable hardware, a uh, computing platform. Hardware. So, uh, according to uh, Jack Ma, this uh, is the chairman for Alibaba Group, he says that the lots of data, to process lots of data, you need Smarter algorithms last a huge uh, amount of computing power. So, what is a uh, uh, type of AI? AI is not uh, just one area, so that there are also many, many sub areas. Uh. We can talk, talk about machine learning, talk about natural language processing, auto speech, access systems. Wow, okay. In home, uh, There's also uh, optimization, scheduling, planning. How do, you, how do you organize, how do you plan, how do you design a good uh, timetable for your, for your plan, for your factory, right? How do you design a, a, a schedule for your, to set up your salesman, to send things, to send goods, to send your delivery to search your customers. But of course, there's also robotics, right? Robotics is one subset of the AI. And the last one, not, not the reason, is actually an uh, example would be vision. Uh, looking at the, you know, how you understand, how you recognize things in a very complex scene or program. Right? So let's look at one example of a huge amount of data, something called curse of dimensionality. So this is actually an example that the cancer is the leading cause of premature death. What does it mean? It means that you can kill people at a very young age. 
right? Or early death in many countries around the world. And still, because of the cancer itself, there are many types of cancer. And, uh, uh, it's actually uh, one of the major causes of uh, premature death. <clears throat> Example, in uh, Canada, nearly close to 1 million potential years were lost in 2002 as a result of cancer. So these, these people who died could have lived longer, right? Uh, so these are great examples. So this one represents 32% of the potential years of life loss resulting from all causes of death. So we can, uh, 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 death can come in various ways, but you know, what, what they are saying is that uh, uh, this is a critical percent of the life loss due to cancer alone. Right? There's also other types of uh, death. Huh? So what else can we know? What else we know about uh, cancer? So in, in Canada, nearly close to uh, maybe half, 44% of the Canadian males and 38% of the Canadian women will develop some form of cancer during their lifetime. So uh, they will take care of our life as well. Huh? So it helps me uh, exercise that uh, on the sun and uh, help build your immune system. In America, Cancer has surpassed heart disease as the top killer of Americans under the age of 85. What does it mean? Well, in the case of heart disease, right, we know what to do. For example, we know that you should eat less fatty food, right? Uh, exercise more, right? And uh, have less uh, meat compared to vegetables and fruits, right? But cancer is not that easy to understand at this point in time, right? So, and then these are examples of the type of cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, uh, which is actually um, very prevalent in males, uh, only in males, and also ovarian cancer, right? So, now, what, what do you mean by this curse of dimensionality, right? So, for each of these cancer cells, either we look at uh, prostate cancer and ovarian cancer, uh, as an example, uh, we're trying to differentiate, identify whether this is a positive cancer or this is ovarian cancer. So, for me, for a person like me who doesn't know uh, much, much about medicine or cancer, if you give me two, two, these two pictures, right, or versus, uh, of course, there's also the normal cells, right? Uh, how can I differentiate? How can I identify what these are? Are these, uh, what do you call it? Are these, uh, uh, what kind of, what kind of, uh, let me see that, hang on. Okay. Uh, this type of uh, prostate cancer cell or the ovarian cancer cell. Now, how do you do that? One way is you extract the features. You extract the characteristics. For example, I can see here that the uh, prostate cancer may be smaller compared to ovarian cancer. Just an example, uh, probably it's not true. But what I'm trying to say is that how would you extract, how would you compile, how would you develop, identify the <coughs> characteristics? Features are basically nothing more than characteristics. So for a human would be your height, your weight, right? Color of your hair, right? <coughs> Whether you're male or female, right? So in this case, if you were to describe <coughs> uh, cancer, portrait or variant, you can have 15,000 plus features. <clears throat> so imagine, other than height, other than the weight, color of hair, your race, right? This is, there are 15,000 different ways to describe cancer. Now, with 15,000, so this one will be probably the, uh, uh, one of the measurements. This is mass over charge. Huh? So how do you, now one, one of the things is that look at here, this is actually the blue and the, and, and the uh, red. So this, if this is actually the measurement of your cancer cells, your characteristics. Can anyone tell me which one is prostrate, which one is ovarian? Right? So even if I give you one week, one month, it's hard to, uh, it will be humanly impossible for you to tell me with high accuracy which one is prostate, which one is ovarian cancer. That's where uh, we, we say that this is like finding a needle in a haystack. But finding one little needle in a haystack, a huge amount of uh, dried grass, right? So we, we actually study this and then we look at the, how do we find 
similar this in high directional data. So we actually we put our part of our early work on that. So this actually this is a healthy cell, right? So this is a cancer cell. Sorry for me misleading you. You can see here if I don't have this, but you won't know, right? Because it's almost similar for me, right? So, so we try to now can clearly see that how this is useful. Is it AI to help doctors and to help uh, help uh, people to, to, to detect any signs of cancer early so that it can be cured, right? So it's one of those things that, that can help in the use uh, of AI in the medical field, right? So now, what else can you tell me? Can you tell me? The, one of the difficulties is that um, um, the actual number of samples, huh? how much samples you can collect? Because it's 15,000 features. So the number of samples you collect of the healthy and the cancer cell is a small number compared to, it's a small ratio compared to features to your characteristics. So it almost goes to zero. It's one of the challenges of handling such a, a data, right? So that is the uh, part, I think, uh, any one of you have classes after this? I see that uh, almost time's yes, up. Sir. Okay, uh, Samuel, thank you. So, uh, so I think to be fair, I have to look for those who have classes after this. Uh, so looks like I have to stop here. I cannot uh, go on. So it's a nice time to stop before we go into the history, a little bit history about AI. So I stop here. Uh, meanwhile, I will go back here to tell you some of the results. Huh? So actually, I think uh, now 50 of you actually have responded. Uh, so this is my 53% doesn't think any part of that. I think, uh, I think uh, most of you don't like the cake. I think it's nothing special. Fair enough. Only half, only less than half the class uh, is actually uh, uh, like the cake. Okay, I'll stop here. Uh, before I end the class here, any questions? Questions or comments? I know it's very difficult. Uh, I think we, we, we've been doing it for a while. I think most lecturers have to have this space the same problem. Uh, the students think it's a uh, don't want to interact. Okay. Good. So I'll uh, stop here. Uh, and of course, I think I'll follow the old way of doing things in the class, uh, in the physical class, in the lecture hall. After class is over, some of you might will still want to talk to me. Uh, so I'll be here for another five few minutes for those who want to talk to me. Otherwise, uh, see you on Friday for those uh, class. Uh, Let's see, I'm going to open up. Uh. I don't think so. Think home, trust me. <laughs> uh, maybe maybe from you. The rest of the class uh, will always keep quiet. Even if I ask them to answer, they will keep quiet. They pretend they're not there. They pretend they can't they, they can't hear me. But again, as I told you in class and in the tutorial, I will always definitely welcome questions. Eh? So that uh, that's a way to learn. Uh, if you don't ask questions, you can never learn. So bye bye. I'll see you for those uh, for those I think from the. I think, for, I think other than RG4 group 1, huh? the rest of you I'll see you only on Friday. Huh? So Friday there's no lab huh, for RG4, I think um, Sam 1 group 1. Because our lab cannot start, I think week 3. Okay, bye bye, I'll stop here for a while. And for those, I'll stay here for a while in case uh, you guys have any questions. Thank you, sir. Welcome, bye bye. Where did you go, Dr. Rod?